Hi everyone, how are you? Just, I've started making a decorated envelope and I just thought I'd come on and show you my process. Something different. This is going to be for Nola Harris that is having a challenge at the moment. So I thought, I thought I'd just like to join in. Um, she did say the envelope has to be at least five inches, but I don't know if that's for the width or the length. And the only other envelopes I had were only about three and a half inches wide and by about six and a half long. So I have got a couple of these envelopes. Um, I have quite a few of these, this size envelope. And even though they are a bit longer uh, and wider, this is about six and a third by about nine inches. So they are quite big, but I think this will be fine. Um, and I've got a second one that I've just already cut the top off because I want to put some pockets on the front of the envelope so I cut down about two and a half inches and then I went down another nearly another two and a half I didn't really measure but I just um, I went down about another two and a half I didn't really measure I just kind of like eyeballed it but just letting you know how far I've gone down and I've drawn a line which I'm now going to cut along so what I'm doing at the moment is just getting this envelope ready to be glued on God that cutting's not very good is it <laughs> I'm getting this envelope ready to be glued on to the front of this um, so I can have, oh no, it gets glued on this way, doesn't it, on the back of the envelope because then there's another pocket part just up there. Okay, so I'm just going to trim that up again. That I didn't cut that very straight. And I'm still trying to get over this head cold. That my lovely grandson gave me and the top of this I'm going to so that's the center and up here that flaps going to be put down inside the center of the envelope and I've just put a little mark there that I'm actually going to cut this in a triangle shape from the center up to the outside corners Okay, so I've got that cut and I've got that done. Now before I go any further, I'm going to glue the inside of this completely down so I don't have to worry about it. And I'm just going to use my glue stick. And put that down inside the center. I'll get a card. Um, Nola said we could decorate it any way we wanted to and I just, I'm really in steampunk mode at the moment so I thought I'm going to paint mine and put it, give it a, a bit of a steampunk um, 
feel to it. Right, so I've got one there and I want one there and then I have this one here. So I'm just going to put some wet glue down the sides of this one. Is that opened? I need to go and get some more tacky glue. I hope this one's alright. This is um, the white glue non-toxic stick. I don't know. So, I hope this one's alright. I just had this one sitting here. I've used up all of my tacky glue and it, oh, it lasted for quite a while. I must admit. Okay, so I've just put some glue around the edges there and I'm going to... This envelope's got a few little marks on it but I'm not worrying about it because it's going to be painted. And I'm just putting that down there. Okay. Just making sure that glue stays down. Okay. Right, so that's that so far. Uh, why isn't that... That bottom envelope's a little fraction bigger than the other one. Hmm, interesting. But that's okay. I'm, I'm not going to trim that down because that is actually the side of this pocket here. Okay. Right, so that's my envelope so far. Now I'm going to use some burnt sienna which is a very light colour light brown and I've got some black and I'll have a little bit of gold on it as well but just thinking burnt umber um, no I don't want that one I want one of my uh, other paints which is over here I'm going to use this dark turquoise as well so that's what I'm going to do now just tidy up all these so I don't get paint everywhere on them move them out of the road okay and I'm just moving those out of the road too. And I might sponge it on. So I've just got a little bit of old sponge here. I cut that the crusty end off it. That'll be right. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Move that out of the road. <sighs> Put some burnt sienna on it first. I might turn that light on. I don't know if it'll be... I think that might be a bit better. We've got a bit of an overcast day here today. So... Okay. Let's just get this on. I was, um, when Nola, um, when she, uh, oh, 
too much. When she said she was having the challenge and wanted a decorated envelope, I um, I was going to try my hand and do, you know how the you do the paper, the scrapbooking uh, paper layered kind of pattern papers. I was going to have a try at that and I thought, no, I'm going to do something that I just feel comfortable with doing so that's what made me think I'll I'll use paint I haven't used paint for a while I have been having a lot of fun um, doing some other altered projects so that was good but now I've just got to come back and get a bit of paint on my hands. Okay, now I'm going to... I won't put the black straight on here. I'll just put some up here. So I don't go overboard with it. And I will lift this up and go down a little bit, but I'll just get the the base colours down on it first before I go up underneath them. Sorry, knocked you. Yeah. Oh, and excuse my sniffling too, goodness. I'll try and edit that out <laughs> if I remember. <laughs> okay, so that looks okay. And now I'm going to use some of this um, dark turquoise. This is just a Semco, it's a cheap paint that we can get over here in Australia. But before that I'm just going to dry this. So, right, so I might just put this straight on here. Oh, just splattered everywhere. Good one, Wendy. Okay, now before I go any further with this, I'm going to just lift up the, the pocket parts and I am going to just bring this, these colours down just a little bit in the, in the pocket, just so that you can't see that stark white okay that's better 
and I'll dry that before I go okay, any so that's further. The bottom pocket and I'll just do the same with this one here and as you can tell I'm not worrying about getting a clean sponge a bit of blue on it okay so I'll dry that part and now I'll just do this top part up here bring it down a bit more having a bit of hard time seeing in there now a bit of blue Okay. All right. Okay. Went a bit wobbly, but that's all right. I just think I'd like to put a bit more blue on there. On the front. like that that's cool all right now I'm going to get that black off my hand now I just want to work out how I want to decorate this uh, I am going to use some gold on it but I'm going to leave that until last in case some of the embellishments or what have you that I'm going to put on here um, in case I want to put some gold on them as well uh, but I haven't put any blue on the back <laughs> I just remembered that so <laughs> I've just washed my hands so I'm going to do that now Oh, I'll just use this. I use my fingers. I just clean them. Okay, I think I've got a bit too much blue on here. So I'll just bring in a little bit more of the black. And bring in some more of this brown. And I just, I really just go along until I find it appealing to me. I still need a bit more brown. Brought it, bring it back in. Okay, that'll do. I'll stop mucking around with it now. Okay, so, so far that's the back and that's the front. I really like the front. It's lovely. Um, the back's okay. 
I'm going to put some gold on the back now and this one comes out very fast okay and the gold also oh excuse me Pardon me. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> oh, that sneeze come on fast. Um, the gold, what was I saying? The gold gives it a really nice shine, a really nice luster. So I can, that's why I'm putting it on the back now because I'm really not doing that much more the back but I do want it to look steampunky I suppose it's more of a, a grungy steampunk I like I don't know, I just, I like mixing these colours together to see what, to see the outcome. Okay, so there's the back, that looks pretty cool. get all this paint off my fingers and okay so let me have a look at that yeah I'm happy with that back that looks really cool I like it okay so now, right, now I want to just have a think to see how I'm going to decorate the front of this up. Okay, I'll be back in a second. I just went and got some of my keys and cogs and clock stamps out. And I'm thinking I might like to try and emboss on the background. So I might want that one, that one. I'm not sure how this is going to go. If it doesn't go any good, I can just chuck it and start again. And I might use a little cog one out of this one. These are from where, who are, oh, Kaiser Craft. Um, just let me have a think, have a plan. If I put a couple of these down and a couple of the smaller ones, I think I might use the very small cog and also. Um, key, but which key? I really like that one there, so I'll get that one out, that stamp there. This one. I like that one, that's cool. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. And, oh, I've lost them. Hang on, they're underneath this. <laughs> Stuck there. I did go out and have a splurge. I brought myself some Tim Holtz Distress Embossing Ink from Ranger and I've got some embossing powder. Um, I know Melinda from Scrapbooking and Craft told me that you can use any type of wet glue or something with the embossing. Um, but I ended up having a splurge and got some proper embossing ink. 
and I'm not very good at it so I don't really know how this is going to go. Excuse me, I have to have a big sip of drink of water. And that's probably heard me chugging. Okay, and I do want one of these. Um, a little trick, if the if these stamps, these ones don't want to really stick on your plate, I just get a bit of double sided tape and I actually stick it to my plate and give it a press down and I use that with my stamps it saves me buying any proper sticky back for them it works just as good okay let's so let's get this done um, I need some paper first um, to push that uh, that'll be right looking for one piece of paper and I can't find any <laughs> oh goodness sake right I've got a piece here I'll just rip this off I'll just rip the piece off my roll that'll do because I need that to put the powder on don't I okay all right so that'll be fine okay I'm ready to go so I'm going to put some of these and I, I, I don't know how many times I don't suppose you leave it that long before you put the the um the powder on it so I'll just ink this up and put it there and then go again because I do want it a couple of times on here and I'll do it one more time and then quickly put that on there Just hope this works. Be pretty cool if it does. Right. I've got a bit on the side, but that's okay. Now I tip that up. Okay, I've got a little bit of excess there, but I'm not going to worry about, oh yes, I think I might need a brush, don't I? I'm just, there's a bit too much excess powder there, embossing powder. So I'm going to try without stuffing up that cog. Um, the clock right okay so I've got that on there put the lid there and put this back in here somehow yeah, there we go and I've got a little bit there that I can pick up to I think Waste not, want not there. Now, let's see how this turns out. Well, that looks so cool. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. I have got a little, whoops. Just got to make sure that that doesn't stick because that's part of that um, opening there. But that looks pretty cool. That looks really, that looks awesome. Okay, so I'm going to do that again. 
and this time I'm going to use the small, oh I better wipe this off, baby wipe. Oh. Okay, I'll just wipe this one off here. One's clean. Just let it dry. Now I'm going to use the smaller cog, uh, not cog, um, clock. Pardon me, use it that way. And I'm going to put a just a couple more. One there and one up that way. All right. So I'm going to put one there and quickly and one up there. And put some of this on. get my piece of paper and tip that off okay where's that brush gone there it is I'll just get the getting the excess off That looks pretty cool. Okay, put that there and tip this back in here. The powder back in there. Okay. Right, let's get some heat on those two. I love the way it goes all shiny. <laughs> I know that's you're doing it right then. Okay, so there's those two. I'll let them dry for a bit. And I've got this little cog one. Oh, I've got to wipe that off. So I'll wipe that one. Now I've got a little, just a little cog one on this one. I shouldn't have um, wet that, should I? And I'm going to put this one there, there and there. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. We'll do... Um, it should be all right. I don't know if this gets reheated. I'm really not sure. Um, oh well, we'll find out, won't we? Okay, so I'm going to put one there. And one there. Oh, I just wobbled that. Oh goodness. And one up here. I wobbled that second one. Okay, we'll see what happens with it. I think it was a bit, if it's too wobbly, I'll, um, I will put something over it to cover it, I think. There, I think I got it all. Not sure. Okay, my paper. And 
and tip that all off. Okay, so I did wobble it. Look at that. I'll just quickly brush that off. Gently, I mean, not quickly. I sort of made a mess of that one there, but that's okay. We'll see how it turns out. Okay. Well, nearly tipped it into the embossing end then. This powder just gets everywhere, doesn't it? Okay. Right. And I might need this too because I've got some of that everywhere. Rightio, let's heat this up and see how it goes. I've still got a bit more... Oops. Just brush that off a bit. Righto. Okay, let's... Oh yes, I like. That looks pretty cool. Alright, I'll just let those dry for a few minutes. This one here I did kind of like smudge a bit, but that's okay. It just adds to the to the um, the originality of the piece, doesn't it? And I'll just wipe this cog off here. And, whoops, the key, I might just put, um, I'm just having a think. I want one to go here. And I don't think I want any up there. I'm just going to put the one, maybe two keys just there, one there and one there. So are they dry? Yeah, it doesn't take long for them to dry, does it? No. Right, where's that? Just let me put this down. there so I've got it ready and don't wobble that's what I've got to remember just don't wobble just press it down gently look at this I've already dirtied that <laughs> my pad that's okay right so I want one here right I've got one there and I'm going to have another one just coming down here. And one there. Okay, so let's see how that one goes. I think that's it. I'll tip it up. Okay, so what have I done wrong here? It was a splodge. I splodged that. And just take a bit of the excess off away from there. OK, 
Okay, so I'll leave that there. I'll put this away. That over there. Put the lid on that. So I'm going to heat the keys up now. Um, I do need to lift that up so it doesn't stick. But that looks so cool. Okay, I like it. I did get a little bit of excess um, around here, but that's okay. Okay, I'm going to let those dry. Going to let them dry. And I'm going to give that brush a clean. It's one of my painting brushes. <laughs> I suppose I should have a special brush for this, but I didn't. Okay. Alright, so, so far so good. I like it. Messy table. I put that in the paint. No, I did too. Right. Oh, pardon me. Okay, so I'm just going to get a bit of paper towel. I'm just gently going to wipe that because I can feel a bit of excess powder on it. Right, just make sure I haven't got any in the pockets. Okay. And I'm going to put a bit of glue on this little flap that keeps coming up. It's annoying me. It's the join of the, I think I must have, oh, why isn't that coming out? I must have, I must have, oh, must have. I think I loosened it. When, oh, that'd be right. I'd yeah, just have one of them days. Nothing can go just perfect. All right. Okay, so I've got some glue on there now, and I don't want it underneath to hold the pocket down. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Now what am I going to do? Um, <sighs> okay, I'll come back. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty awesome so far. I like it. Looks cool. Um... I'll get some crap on the back of that. I'm just going to go and gather a few things to decorate the front up now. And I'll be back. <laughs> 